So today what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the two sport athletes. I'm talking Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Tim Tebow, Michael Jordan. I mean, you know, they're not as good as Bo Jackson or Deion Sanders, but they still made appearances in, you know, minor leagues. Some other players that I missed out on, Danny Ainge, John Elway was drafted by an MLB team. Um, Dan Marino, even Ricky Williams, the former running back, played four years in the minors. Tracy McGrady, there's a couple other names that I missed out on, but these were some of the players that I was able to find in the player vault. So we're gonna take them, we're gonna do a three year rebuild, and we're gonna see what we can do with this team. I decided to throw them on the Detroit Tigers because, you know, they're kind of a bad team. So we'll see what we can do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. If you missed last video, it's gonna be on screen now in the top right hand corner. That is the video we did. Other than that guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's hop into it and see how things go. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this roster that I've assembled. The only pitcher that I have is Jameis Winston, formerly of the Florida State Seminoles. He was a pitcher there, also an outfielder. Um, I think he only played two years, but he was drafted by the Rangers, I believe. And he's got okay stats, nothing too crazy. I just decided to give him, you know, okay stats because his second year pitching, he was actually pretty solid. He actually had, he had like a 1.2 ERA or something like that. So he was pretty decent. Um, on the bench, we have Tim Tebow, Kyler Murray as well. So we decided to get those two guys in the mix. We got Russell Wilson, who again, I decided to make a little bit better of a fielder because I figured he wouldn't be terrible as a fielder. I just didn't know how well that bat would be. And then we have the Michael Jordan. Obviously his stint with the White Sox didn't go as planned. He was a terrible baseball player, but we'll throw him up here. As you can see, he's a little bit better of a fielder than he is um with the bat with the bat he was pretty terrible next up um we have bo jackson who was like if you want to be a two-sport athlete bo jackson is like the poster boy for two-sport athletes solid running back an amazing outfielder and he was actually really good with the bat as well he was he was a stud next up we have Dion sanders I mean, what else can you say? It was it's prime time. So we got the two best ones in Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson, and then everything else, um, they're pretty subpar. So we, we really need Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson to carry the team. And let's see what we can do with this Tigers roster. Everything else is gonna be the same. Nothing has been toyed with with the roster. This is like your standard Tigers roster. And I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with it. So let's see, let's just let the first year sim out and then we'll really make the changes season two and season three. So they weren't good enough to help the Tigers. It was actually a pretty bad season, 68 and 94. But I'm interested to see how these two sport athletes performed. Let's take a look. Jameis Winston, actually a pretty decent year. 350 ERA, 1.29 whip, nine and nine on the year is up to an 82 not terrible how did the rest of the team do though not great not great at all um you know definitely could improve definitely things could be a little bit better but we'll have to figure out what we can do here tim tebow seven at bats hit 286 he might be the goat he might be the goat i hope he doesn't retire i hope he doesn't retire kyler murray not so good not so good we had dion hit 237 how how are you hitting 237 how are you hitting the same as Jody Mercer? Jordy Mercer, that's just crazy. Bo Jackson hit 228. Okay, I understand your vision's a little low. He did hit 40 home runs almost though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freak out there. Russell Wilson hit 214, and Michael Jordan hit 189. Oh man, I don't know. I don't. I think the Tigers would be better off without these guys. Rookie of the year went to Bo Jackson, and we had a Gold Glove. But I mean, honestly, I think. I think it might be better if we didn't have these guys on the roster. You guys can see the Tigers are ranked pretty low and we'll see what we can do in the off season. I'm hoping Tebow doesn't retire, hopefully. So we, we definitely are gonna have to make some changes to this team. What are we gonna do? I'm not too sure yet, but I feel like, yes. Okay, they didn't retire, so that's good. So let's just take a look and see what we got here. Exclusive negotiations. I don't want any of those guys to come back and we're definitely gonna we're gonna make some changes to this Tigers team We're gonna have some fun with it and uh, see what we can do. We're gonna offer everybody arbitration for sure um, Arbitration and contracts actually Probably not Lewis Coleman and Then probably so probably Daniel Norris will get it 
and then the top three will get it but the rest won't get arbitration and then when we look at contracts i'm assuming i'm going to give everybody a contract i definitely want to improve the pitching Garrett Cole is an option that I want 100%. I need to open up some cap space though because of that horrible Jordan Zimmerman um, contract. So let me make a trade first and then we'll get into the uh, the offseason for sure. I, I really want to trade for this Royals first baseman, John Dingus, just based on the name. I really want to do it, but he's, he's the 38 overall. Are you kidding me? That is unreal. 38 overall? Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm, I'm probably going to take another offer that I saw. Um, I think it was with um, the red nose, the Orioles. I'm just going to take this trade, get that contract out of here. And then um, I don't want to trade Miguel Cabrera, but I think I have to just to open up some more space to see what we can get really quick. But uh, that name, that name I had to show you guys. Um, Let's see. Anything good here? Carlos Santana. He might be our new first baseman for the season. We could do that. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's take that Carlos Santana deal for a season. That's not a bad deal. Jason Kipnis, though. Yikes. Um, maybe if we could do that deal without Jason Kipnis being involved, I'm 100% in on it. Um, but they are. They're cool with it. And we got a little bit of space to sneak in another player. What can we get here? What about Zach Plesek? We're making a deal happen right here. On the fly, somehow this is gonna work. That was close. Um, let me see what we can do here. We got anybody down here that's got a contract that we can offer? Ooh, we're close. I don't, we just traded for that guy, so I don't really wanna trade him, but I think that's the only other contract we have. So we're just gonna, we're gonna throw him in. And that's gonna be the contract, that's the deal. I'll take that for sure. That's a good one. So to start season two, we definitely need to improve the bullpen. We're going to trade Jimer Candelario, Ronnie Rodriguez, and Matt Manning for Jordan Hicks. I think it's a pretty good deal. So for the second season, this is how we're going to look. I definitely made some changes. Obviously, the addition of Anthony Rendon is a big one. We traded for Carlos Santana. And then the rest of the team pretty much left the same. Nico Goodrum has come up to play shortstop. We still have uh, Kyler Murray and Tim Tebow riding the bench being good team cheerleaders. Next up, we have our starting rotation. Garrett Cole is a big addition. I think that's really gonna help out the squad. We have Jameis Winston, and then everything else is kind of left the same. We brought in um, Xavier Cedeno, and then Della Betances in free agency. I think it's definitely beefed up the bullpen a little bit. I didn't like I, I didn't like that I said that, but it definitely improved the bullpen from what we've had. Um, we're gonna let Casey Myers work, work out some kinks, that he had last year in the minors 6.28 era is just yikes but the team looks a lot better i think that small small changes has definitely made this team better our budget is still right there we still got a decent a little decent little chunk of change to work with and i think we could uh, even pick up a couple more bullpen arms or even a, a really strong bat if like kristen stewart or like nico goodrum or something like that doesn't do well this season so let's play the season out see how things go but I think the players that we have, like Deion Sanders, I think is going to have a good year. Bo Jackson is probably going to hit like 700 home runs. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. So actually, this season went pretty well. And I mean, obviously, it helps that we made those roster changes. Garrett Cole, Rendon, things like that. 94 and 68 made the postseason as a wild card team. So how much? Wow, the White Sox are good. What? Where did this come from? 104 wins? Are you kidding me? Um, we had 94 and 68. Like I said, we're the seventh ranked team in baseball, um, which is kind of crazy. So when we take a look at league leaders, Bo Jackson had the most triples and Rendon had the best batting average. And Garrett Cole is like a must pick up in franchise for pitchers. So Silver Slugger, MVP, Cy Young, I'm assuming as well. And then we had a gold glove. All right, so let's take a look at the pitching rotation, see how things went. Garrett Cole, crazy good numbers. Obviously, he was the MVP in Cy Young. Michael Fulmer did well. Jameis Winston. What are these numbers, dude? How do you go from a 350 ERA to a 533? Spencer Turnbull was good. And then Matthew Boyd was kind of shaky. Probably really going to let him go to free agency. Zach Plesek struggled a bit. Stump struggle, struggled. Eduardo Jimenez struggled. Cedeno was actually pretty good. I might bring him back for another year. Jimenez, yikes. Joe Jimenez is, ugh. Um, We got Jordan Hicks who did well. And then Dellen Matances was actually a really solid 
closer for us. So let's take a look at our lineup, see how things went on the bench first. Dewell Lugo is up to an 83. Kyler Murray is a 71. He hit 321 with five home runs and 15 RBIs. Not bad in 109 <laughs> at bats. Tim Tebow only had two at bats, didn't get a hit. Oh well. And then Grayson Graner, eh. Deion Sanders, 98 overall, had 35 home runs, 103 RBIs, and a 271 average. Okay, 40 doubles, 10 triples, and 35 stolen bases. Pretty solid. Carlos Santana, we picked him up instead of Miguel Cabrera. He had himself a year as well. 37 home runs with 90 RBIs and a 302 average. Rendon, holy cow. Crazy good stats. We have Bo Jackson, who, who's Average is low, but that home run total and RBIs are through the roof. Triples, doubles, holy cow. So he may not get that good average, which is actually the opposite. In real life, he was hitting, you know, like 270, I think, and above for most of his career. He had a pretty good average. Russell Wilson wasn't terrible, 240 with 18 home runs. Michael Jordan, 232 with 12 home runs and 60 RBIs. I feel like that's a little generous. I feel like he should be hitting in the 100s. Uh, Jake Rogers, 260. Kristen Stewart, 240. And then Nico Goodrum hit 288 or 281. So the team's looking good. It helps that you got Deion Sanders cranking out home runs. Rendon, Santana, Bo Jackson. I mean, even Russell Wilson's not doing terrible. Michael Jordan, things like that. I mean, Kyler Murray is putting up really decent numbers for his limited plate appearances and everything like that. And the team is looking solid. So it's kind of like a fantasy style rebuild and things like that and it's just it's just to have some fun it's just to see how bo jackson deon sanders michael jordan all of them would do in a rebuild and let's uh let's just hop into this let's see how this playoff game goes obviously we have garrett cole on the mound we're taking on the red Sox. so getting something like a win would be really nice going against chris sale is going to be difficult and when we allow rafael devers to give us or to give us like a deficit we're gonna be in some trouble. But then we got Jake Rogers hitting a two run bomb and we got a two to one lead. And let's just keep going. Michael Chavis, why you gotta do that? So four two game. And uh, it's looking a little looking a little grim for us. Garrett Cole's not pitching well. First and second, no outs. Come on, we gotta, we gotta take advantage of that. We at least get one and it's a five to three game. So come on, Garrett Cole. I need like two more innings out of you would be huge. Jonathan Lucroy goes deep. Are you serious? All right, Gary Cole's done. We'll go Jimenez. No, we're not. He's not doing it. The other Jimenez, nine to three ball game. And I, I think that might be the, the icing on the cake. As they say, I think we're done unless something crazy happens here where we get like six runs. That's a good start, but uh, that was how things ended. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully Jordan Hicks can just get us the out. 10 to 4 game and that is our season so we got one more year to turn this season around can we do it 94 and 68 is really solid or i should say to turn this rebuild around 94 and 68 is really good um none of our two-way players decided to retire so let's take a look do we keep carlos santana back i think we have to he was really solid let's give him a one-year deal bump it up a little bit see what he takes Xavier Cedeno was solid as well. I'm cool giving him like another one year deal. Maybe bump that down a little bit. Things are looking pretty solid. We just got to make that team a little bit stronger and see what we can do. Betances exercised his option. I don't remember giving him an option, but okay, that's cool, I guess. And then arbitration wise, probably going to give it to everybody. Um, maybe not uh, Stump. now that I'm thinking about it. Or Boyd. Boyd and Stump probably aren't going to get it, which means in free agency, maybe P James Paxton's a good option. Um, and then when we look at the bullpen, maybe like a Kalame or a Hendricks, those two options could be good. And then I'm looking at the, the rest of the free agents available. And there's a couple of good ones out there, um, like a David Peralta, but I feel like our outfield's really strong. So I feel like just the pitching staff needs to get a little bit stronger. So let's see how season three plays out. All right, we're gonna start season three of training for Sir Anthony Dominguez. We're taking a shot because you can see the 0.68 ERA, but underneath it, it says or it says 474 ERA. What are we gonna get? I don't know, but we're gonna trade Eduardo Jimenez and Victor Reyes. I do wanna get one more bullpen arm, I believe. 
um we're gonna go like this as you guys see we brought in blake trying to be our new setup guy maybe even go like this but i think Dylan batansis is gonna cry because then he's not the closer i don't know we'll figure it out i like this jimenez is garbage though that's kind of an issue we brought in robbie Erling to be that long reliever starting rotations not terrible it's actually really strong and then when you look at our lineup again it's a very strong lineup we got nico goodrum is kind of like our lowest player along with kristen stewart so maybe we trade for a better shortstop that might be a good move let's try to find a better shortstop uh this is a shortstop i don't normally trade for uh dansby swanson one of the better ones we could acquire for dewell lugo casey mize and riley green i know it's kind of like oh my god you're trading casey mize but he's not starting for us let's just make the trade and i think that might be it so when we take a look at the lineup now with the addition of dansby swanson kind of hopping in here the team looks good um we definitely got to figure out that's our dh and this is gonna be second base ha i'm blind don't worry about it but yeah that's the team that's the team it looks pretty solid we'll put dansby swanson there russell wilson will play second base easy easy we still got kyler and tebow on the bench along with Nico Goodrum and Grayson Grainer. The team looks good. Obviously, the DH is a little meh. Michael Jordan's now, like, one of the only players under 80, but the team is scary good. Like, really good. Even the pitching rotation looks solid. Let's see how this year plays out for Season 3. Alrighty, so we won the division somehow because this was not a good season at all. 87 and 75? It's not a bad year, but 87 wins won the division? How did the White Sox go from 104 wins to 75? We're the first ranked team in baseball and we only won 87 games. Like the Blue Jays killed us, essentially. Like we're, we won a division where the lowest, we had the least amount of wins out of every other team that won a division. This is not bode well for us. We, we are the first ranked team somehow. It's a weird combination of stats and ranks and everything. We got some league leaders, Garrett Cole, but that's about it. So I'm interested to see how things went because I'm assuming things were kind of shaky. So Garrett Cole was very good, as expected. Michael Fulmer, not too bad. He's been pretty consistent with his stat line um, the last two seasons. Spencer Turnbull kind of was iffy. Last year was his best year by far. Jameis Winston, back on track. Like to see that. 388 ERA, 132 whip. Okay, so maybe maybe put him there. And then Plesak was... You know, for a four or five, these aren't terrible. Not bad at all. Robbie Erlin as a long reliever, perfect spot for him. Jimenez is trash, probably should have traded him away. Sedeno, not as good as last year. Dominguez wasn't bad. Hicks was, mm, uh, yikes. Uh, Batanzas was good. And Blake Trinan was good. So overall, not, not terrible. So what happened here? Because something didn't go right. There's, there's something that went wrong, right? Um, overall, pretty happy with the way the bench looks. Deion Sanders had a good year, 274 average. Pretty consistent the last two years. 11 triples, 47 doubles. Dude just hit extra bases for days. Dancy Sponson hit 284, 22 home runs, 12 triples, 36 doubles. I mean, it looks like we just hit extra base hits for days. Uh, Rendon, 32 home runs, 95 RBAs, RBIs. He had 24 doubles. Uh, Bo Jackson was, again, low average, but high home runs, high RBIs, and high extra base hits. So that's good. Carlos Santana dipped in the power category. Holy cow. 37 home runs last year, and then he drops it down to 13. Average and stuff is high, but run production was a little low. Kristen Stewart, really good year for him. Really good year. Jake Rogers was okay. Michael Jordan, definitely falling off but 26 doubles is not bad consistently hitting 12 home runs just that average is kind of in the trash can and then russell wilson hit 211 what 211 are you kidding me jeez all right well the team it, it was lackluster I, f I feel like it was just like a meh you know meh all right so let's take on the angels see how this goes Facing elimination. Just gotta love it. It's just like a recurring theme on the channel that it's just not meant to be. Um, uh, I guess we'll go Turnbull. I don't really want to, but let's just see how it goes. Looking at the lineup, not much has changed. Weeders, Jay Bruce are two new, new names. Jemai Jones, I think, is at second. 
There we go, Dansby Swanson. I'll take that for sure. Um, it is Jemai Jones, and uh, he goes deep. Gives them the 2-1 lead. Hmm. Okay, let's not lose. How about that one? Let's just not lose. Bo Jackson goes deep. That's what we're talking about. We need to see those two-way players, those two sport athletes start to produce runs there we go russell wilson getting on the board bo jackson again he's a beast all right so we got a seven to two lead things are looking pretty good we're gonna can he get us that one more out yes all right turnbull's done after six that's good to see um let's go to dominguez i guess yikes um this got a little interesting now it's a two-run game, which is not the best. Probably should get a righty in here. Batansis gets us the out, so it's still a two-run game. And uh, ninth inning, we're going to try and shut the door, hopefully. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Double play ends the game. Thank God. Holy cow. All right. Here we go. To move on to the next round. Can we do it? Garrett Cole, you got rocked. Did I just see an 844 ERA? Jesus. All right. I mean, you had to load the bases in the first, but you got out of it. So I'll take that. Dansby Swanson again, delivering some runs. Bo Jackson brings in another. It's a three-run game. Things are going well. Like what I'm seeing. Hold the lead. I just see Garrett Cole to pitch well. If Garrett Cole pitches well, the runs will come. We'll be okay. So let's just hopefully not implode anytime soon. There we go. Deion Sanders goes deep. So far, so good. Garrett Cole is pitching well. Let's just keep getting runs. Something's something's got to give here. We'll get we'll get some more runs soon. Um, can he pitch it? Might as well just let him close it out. There we go. I'll take that for sure. All right, who are we taking on? The Red Sox. All right, Garrett Cole can't pitch this game. Um, so let's just move him down right there. Yeah, let's do that. And then game one, we win, that's good. Game two, we lose. We lose that one and we lose that one. Yikes, this is not good. Um, holy cow, we got smacked that last game too. Let's go Fulmer. And uh, let's just see how things go. We'll simulate like half inning. So we're down one nothing. They have Syndergaard. What? Are you kidding me? We got two runs that inning. So, so far so good. It's a three to one ball game. Things are looking good. Five to one ball game. So things are going well for us. Six to two ball game. We're going to take him out. Holy cow. Our bullpen is destroyed. Jesus. Um... We'll just go to the long reliever because we need we need some innings eaten up for sure. And six to two, can he close it out? He does, perfect. That's what we needed. We also needed those, like we needed some bullpen rest for sure. Next game, here we go. Fenway Park, Jameis Winston. It all comes down to the hands of Jameis Winston. So far, uh, we got a lead. We got a lead. That's good. Still looking good. Jameis is pitching well. It's a quiet game. Still mm, two to one ball game. All right. Can we get these runs back? Jameis is done. Unfortunately, we're going to go to Dominguez. Perfect. All right. Comes down to this two to one ball game. There's one out. Dansby Swanson, I I got the hit. We need Rendon to bring him in. But it comes down to Bo Jackson. It could have been written in the stars. It could have been a storybook ending. Unfortunately, that's where the season ends. Two games short of the World Series. Man, that is rough. I mean, looking at the lineup, Rendon did well. Bo Jackson did well. Carlos Santana was garbage so is Kristen Stewart Jake Rogers Michael Jordan I mean we were just a guaranteed out from the five to nine spot that is 
that's just not good. Um, pitching wise, starters weren't terrible. Starters weren't terrible. Jimenez was garbage. Dominguez was garbage. And then Blake Trinan struggled a bit as well. So holy cow, that's just the way things kind of end from time to time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the two sport athletes rebuild. Unfortunately, we weren't able to win a World Series, but it was just a little bit of fun. See how Bo Jackson would play. Deion Sanders, things like that, just to, just to kind of switch things up and just kind of do some fantasy stuff that would just, just be kind of cool to test out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. On screen now is going to be the subscribe button, also a video that YouTube recommends you guys watch. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.